Hey guys, my name is Renee. Um, if you're new here, definitely subscribe and leave me a like if you like this video or comment because it really boosts my channel and helps me to show up on like the current algorithm. Um, I really appreciate like the positive response that I got on my last video about knowing who you are and like I kind of touched on the concept of like personal magnetism. So it makes me feel really good that that resonated with you guys. And um, I'm like, why wait for another video? Why not just film one today? So I'm going to do a video on today's topic, which is building confidence and beauty. And when I say building confidence and beauty, I really mean this from like an inside out kind of way, because you can obviously like look beautiful on the outside, but are you beautiful on the inside? T. And also I read, I just finished reading Giselle. I don't know if I'm saying her last name right, Giselle Bunchen model who was married to Tom Brady she's like really beautiful she was a Victoria's Secret Angel for like I think 20 years and I read her memoir it's called lessons my path to a meaningful life and oh my gosh first of all I definitely recommend that book if you're looking for something to read that's like inspiring and um, I just I totally love reading about people's lives especially people that I admire people that are successful that have kind of like built something for themselves I love hearing their story because it kind of helps me like you know stay inspired so I recommend that book but I mentioned that book because she said something that was so profound and I feel like when I read a book even if I find one sentence or one thought that elevates me I feel like that read was worth it and she said something about how yes beauty is a physical thing but we have to look beyond people's looks to see the spirit that animates them and I feel like that is so true like i feel like your spirit and your energy is what makes you beautiful at the end of the day and i'm the kind of person that like i don't really go for looks like in dating like looks are not like the top thing that i'm looking at obviously like attraction is important but i've grown to learn and know that looks are definitely like misleading sometimes so that's not the number one thing that i look for and i just love that she mentioned that and i couldn't have worded it more perfectly myself that to look at the spirit that's animating a person because that's what makes somebody like beautiful or like you know not a good person like you can kind of sometimes tell by just the expression on their face because your energy shows up in your appearance as well so um and i also think that you know us women like we really can pick ourselves apart like when it comes to our beauty and like our physical appearance but just know and that's something that i found to be true for myself as well like the more work that you do on yourself and the more that you grow as a person and care for like your spirit and like your inner world that pays off like that is gonna give you something that nobody else has and that's gonna that's what makes you stand out at the end of the day is your energy and people can be attracted to your energy first and then grow to be attracted to your looks as well so it's just something to think about because you know when we get too caught up on like our physical appearance that can really just be such a toxic toxic cycle and i'm not an angel that's like something i've been saying lately because nobody's perfect i'm definitely not perfect and nobody that you see online is perfect okay like everybody has their flaws and I've definitely fallen like in that trap as well. And you know, it's just life, it's just what happens, but it's about what do you do from there. So when it comes to building confidence, um, I would say that the number one thing I've learned this year, I'm just gonna like tell you guys what I've been learning recently, although I could talk about this topic honestly forever. And something that helps build confidence that I've found for myself is one, keeping like promises to myself is something that helps me build my self-esteem so like if i say i'm gonna do something like to do it especially if it's in terms of like self-care or like lifestyle if there's something that i want to do that i know is going to work for me in the in the better it's going to better me i have to stick to it and do that thing in order to feel a sense of accomplishment and in order to raise my self-esteem um and that's just something that I found when it comes to building confidence is like making goals for yourself and actually like sticking to them and accomplishing them first for yourself, like showing like showing up for yourself in that way and not like abandoning things that you want to do with things that you want to add into your life that are going to improve you. Like those little things that we tell ourselves that we're going to do when we don't do them, we're kind of like 
breaking the trust with ourselves. And I've definitely done that so many, so, so many times. But even if that's where you are right now, if you can just take like a little step every day to like show yourself that you are showing up for yourself, you will build that confidence and nobody can take that away from you. So a physical example of something that I've been doing lately that's been helping me kind of regain my like confidence is when it comes to taking care of myself. And obviously taking care of yourself like in a physical way is really important and health and nutrition I feel like are the biggest contributors to beauty because um, at the end of the day, and I've even heard like attraction from an evolutionary perspective, what happens is that people are attracted to people who look healthy. And it's kind of like something that we do subconsciously and unconsciously. We're just attracted to people who radiate health. Health equals beauty from like an evolutionary perspective. So taking care of yourself is how you gain beauty and how you have that glow from the inside out. You know what I mean? So I've had this journey, journey this year with my dang health and nutrition because I did so much inner work on myself like last year and I got myself to a place where I was so happy with my physique, so happy with my eating habits. I felt like I outgrew all of these like bad habits that I acquired through the year. I found a, a lifestyle of eating that worked for me and I stuck to it and that gave me such a sense of pride and accomplishment and on top of that, I was really proud of my physique. This was like last year and this year I fell off of that like I would say around in the springtime and it's just been a process of like me regaining that skill set of like wanting to eat better and doing the things that I need to do that I know at the end of the day are gonna make me feel good about myself and make me feel like my best self so I've had to like reintroduce habits that I used to have that I somehow let go of and one of them is intermittent fasting um, I've been doing 16-8 and I have my own personal reasons for wanting to do intermittent fasting. It's not necessarily about um, like weight, even though that, that, that is like a part of it, but that's not the main reason why I do it. I do it for my own personal health reasons and to like regulate my blood sugar and to like give me more energy and like clarity in my thoughts because sometimes they say that your gut is your second brain and if you're spending so much time like digesting food, it's taking away from the energy that your body and your mind can be using to do other things, if that makes sense. So I just love the practice of fasting and it's something that I used to do like all the time and it's just something that I gradually let go of. So it's something that I've been introducing and this week I did about two fasts, um, 16 hours fasting and then eight hours eating, which is actually pretty doable. Um, if you can make it work around your schedule. So that's something that's helping me gain my confidence because at the end of the day, I know that's a positive change that I'm doing for myself. And at the end of the day, nobody can tell if I did it or not, nor does anybody care. But who cares? Me. My inner person, my inner like self is watching the things that I do. And if I'm not taking care of myself, then what am I really saying to, my, to myself? I'm telling myself without saying it, that I'm not worthy of being taken care of. I'm not worth the time to like invest in my health and wellness. So I've had to like retrain myself to believe that I am worthy of health and wellness. I am worthy of the body that I desire. I get to have the body that I want. I get to have the health that I want. Like I've had to like make myself really deeply care about my, um, like nutrition and my health again because I know that that's the best thing for me and it's not all about physical appearance it's about in the long term how my health is going to play out and it starts by making these little changes every single day so that's one thing that I found that's built my confidence and that's an example of making a promise to myself and sticking to it other ways that we can build our confidence are obviously taking care of our physical appearance you know whatever it is that you like to do I personally love doing my hair I I mean you can't really tell right now but I like take a lot of pride and like I feel a lot of confidence when my hair is done like that's just how I've always been um, so that's something that I do to take care of myself but so whatever it is that you like to do for your appearance like definitely make sure that you're staying on top of it even if you're not seeing anyone if you're not going anywhere even if you're just staying home that day like we sometimes make ourselves look beautiful and presentable because we know we're going to see someone or we want to impress someone or we want to leave an impression 
on the person that we're seeing or where we're going like we want to show up for them we want to show them our best selves but i want to challenge you to think even beyond that and show up for yourself even when it's just you and you like take care of yourself and make yourself look presentable even if you're not even seeing anybody that day because you know who's seeing you you are seeing you and i know you know that when you take the time to like get dressed doesn't necessarily have to be a like a dress and heels like even just like look looking presentable like i know that when you're dressed when you taking the time to like do your makeup when you're taking the time to fix your hair you feel better you carry yourself in a different energy and that's what it's about it's about showing up for yourself first and i kind of have another example but i'm not sure if it's tmi but um i'll just say hair removal okay like sometimes if we're not seeing anyone or we're not going anywhere we're not showing our skin like maybe in the winter months like we i mean every to each his own this is not to say that my way of doing things is better than anybody else's but like something i found is even like doing that when i'm not seeing anyone even if i'm the only person that's going to be seeing like parts of my body do the hair removal because i'm the one seeing it and that at the end of the day makes me feel like i'm groomed like i'm taking care of myself and that's registering in the back of my mind that like i'm worthy of being taken care of and if you first believe that you're worthy of being taken care of you're worthy of the best treatment you deserve this you deserve that if you believe that first then it's going to show in your life like externally so i'm just a really strong believer of taking care of yourself no matter what taking care of yourself even if it's just you and you you know what i mean because your opinion of yourself is what dictates your self-esteem and it's it determines how you show up in the world so um beauty wise tips for staying beautiful i mean obviously taking care of your spirit right so not not doing things that conflict with your morality and with your integrity everybody is different in their belief system but i found that when you go against your morals and when you do things that clash with like the part of you that has integrity if you're making the wrong decisions for example that's a huge thing this can literally like destroy your self-confidence your self-esteem and obviously it will affect your beauty because you're not feeling good about yourself so i would say just learning it's okay to make mistakes mistakes are how you learn but learning to make better decisions and show up as the person that you want to be i feel like that's key in building your self-esteem is to like make better decisions making better decisions because why because you deserve it you deserve to see how your life plays out in the best case scenario you deserve to feel your best you deserve to do your best and it's your life you only get one you know what i mean so making better decisions is key in building confidence and beauty and then in terms of like external things that i do for my beauty besides taking care of my spirit by making better decisions, aligning with my integrity and my own morals and not doing things that conflict with that and sending myself and my soul mixed messages. Aside from that, I'm obviously inner work and like journaling and having like and learning the skill of emotional control and emotional intelligence, I think is key in beauty too, because that's a huge contributor to the way that you're carrying yourself. You know what I mean? Like we've all seen somebody who's very, very angry, right? And think of that person envision them in your mind and you see how they act it's irrational they're less likely to be taken serious they almost look like they've gone mad they look crazy you can even laugh at them because they look so obscene because they've lost control and at the end of the day everybody has emotional issues nobody's perfect we've all been there but learning to regulate your emotions is like a skill worth investing in because it dictates how you are perceived in the world and it also helps you on the inside because you found a way to manage your own emotions and you're not depending on things externally or people to manage those emotions for you if that makes sense so if you want to know how to do this my quick answer is journaling I think journaling and writing down how we feel and just like reflecting is probably the most accessible way of going about learning how to manage your emotions but um, I will make another video on like specific ways on how to do this in fact I might even have another one on my channel and if I do I'll link it below um, so that's just huge because your inner world dictates your outer world like you know I'm a firm believer in that and then aside from those things 
physically building your beauty, of course, grooming. Grooming is only one part. When we think of self-care, we think of grooming. We think nails, you know, we think hair, um, our outfit, you know, our skincare routine, like, yeah. Physical things are very important in taking care of your beauty because that's, your, you know, you're taking care of your appearance. But hand in hand with that goes taking care of your health. So I have my own personal health goals, my own fitness goals, my own nutrition goals. But what I would say instead of sharing what I do is to figure out what works for you and like find a routine for yourself that works and stick to it and commit to your wellness because you deserve it like you deserve to live a quality life where you're feeling good every day where you're feeling confident and like it can sometimes i totally understand it can feel like a huge goal it can feel like insurmountable especially if you're not close to where you want to be right but it's really the way that you go about it is one step at a time one day at a time don't think of it in the bigger picture of how long it's going to take and it's going to be so much work this and that don't feed into like that emotional addiction of like being overwhelmed like just take it a day at a time and build better habits and the like effects of that are going to show gradually like as time goes on so find out what it is that you need for your wellness routine for your fitness routine for your nutrition um, even supplements you know supplements are really helpful i actually just started my supplement routine again and i'm it's just like a good practice because you're intentionally trying to better your body you're trying to function optimum optimally you're like you're taking care of yourself in that way and if you don't do that no one is going to do that for you nobody's going to do that for you and i will even go as far as to say when you visibly appear like you're not taking care of yourself um obviously it affects your self-esteem and it gives you low confidence but you're also signaling to other people that they shouldn't care for you either and that they shouldn't respect you people naturally respect people who take care of themselves who take the time out of their day to look well you know so just some just food for thought but um these are my like immediate thoughts on how to build confidence and how to build beauty um i definitely think it's an inner i, I would almost value like the inner work like the inner soul job more than the outer appearance stuff even though they're both important but i would say it's like 60 percent inner work and then 40 percent things that we're doing physically i think it's like a hand in hand combination and it, can, it will take time it takes time but it's so worth it and i believe no matter where you are no matter who you are what you're feeling right now there are concrete ways that you can go about building your confidence and making yourself feel and look more beautiful and the purpose is to just figure out what it is that works for you i shared some things that i do um and yeah i hope you found this video helpful if you did leave me a like leave me a comment um, i'm really enjoying making videos so thanks for showing up for me um and you know i it's my pleasure to show up for you guys so leave me a like um and subscribe to my channel because we're almost at 1000 one of these days you know what i mean